Welcome everybody to another episode of Rock Your Class. Today we are actually in the kitchen and for a good reason because I have an important question for you. Do you let your students play with matches? Judge me as you will, but I let my students play with matches. Yes, things get heated up in my class as my students get on fire for match play. The question isn't why, the question is, are you doing it too? Matching plays to the most base fundamental understanding that humans cling to, logic. Things have to make sense in the mind. The mind finds peace in reason and logic. Peanut butter with jelly, pencil and paper, Hammer and nail, a burger with fries, salt and pepper. All these are almost automatic word associations. Like water to thirst, humans feel quenched when everything is matched and everything is in its right place. The universe rejoices. Rock and reasons to provide playful pedagogical practice with curriculum content while moving, matching, and having fun. These three combine to make learning more memorable. Rock and requirements. All you need is Microsoft Word or equivalent, paper and scissors. As a teacher, I play on my students' need to see everything fit, everything makes sense, everything match right in their minds. So I let them play with matches. One of my favorite activities to do with matching is something that we call a mêlé mêlé in French. You can do this with students or homeschoolers of any grade any level or any subject area. First, complete a grid with 16 problems and 16 corresponding solutions. Or you can fill the grid with matching sentence fragments, terms and definitions, anything that can be paired. For this lesson, we're gonna go with 32 as an average class size. You can adjust according to your size. After you have filled out the grid, cut out the 32 game pieces. Distribute one per student. Now, how you distribute the pieces is up to you. You can stand at the door as students file in and hand one to each student as they take their seat and wait for instructions. You can circulate and place one face down on each of the students' desks. Or have students come to you and pick from a pile or a bag or a box. Once every student has a game piece, start a song. If you have a song that is related to the content of the matching activity, great. If not, I recommend an instrumental track with a good beat. Play the song for one minute. Students circulate. When they find their match, they can either sit down or they can move to a designated area. Stop the music after one minute and see how many pairs the class was able to make. Have students read their matched pieces aloud to the class. You can collect and redistribute the pieces to play again. Here is a cool alternative. Use the 32 pieces as a puzzle to be solved by one student at their desk. Time each student as they do this individual repairing challenge. This is perfect for any homeschool or school situation. Are you ready to try it? Download your free complete lesson plan package for playing with matches by clicking the link below. Now I went ahead and I did the grunt work for you so your blank grid is ready for you to complete and I included a high energy instrumental track for your students to move to as they repair their content knowledge with this repairing matching activity. Wait, one more quick note. If you're a French teacher, you might like the matching activity that is already included in the Allez package found in the link below, so click and check that out as well. No matter what subject area you teach or the grade of your students or homeschoolers, drop your comments below to me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I love talking about things that will help you rock your class.